I'm glad you wasted that because I'm purposely waiting for you to do that now. And then you're going to catch on to that. And then I'm going to keep hitting you with the false starts. Until well, I, you purposely, just... I literally purposely waited to, to do that. Oh, no, what's cool is that your camera froze now. <laughs> See, now you're breaking things. No, that was you. That had nothing to do with me. My camera was working on my end the entire time. Yeah, it's all your fault. Well, hello, Aaron. How are you? I'll just hang lovely... up. Fuck you. Okay, I'll get a I'll get a random from the audience. That'll never go wrong for a host. I was say how how could that ever go wrong? Yeah, I really want Uncrustables. You you have made me really really want them. You're welcome. Yes. Well, they're, anyway, they're a delicacy from God Himself. I don't know if they are welcome to Frenemy Fire. It's early. I got new sub badges. Didn't you see them? It's early. It's actually late for us, if we're being honest. It is kind of late for us. Did you see many sub badges? They're Robo Quest. Yeah, the little robot gimmicks. Oh, and then Stitch made me the custom black and pink and the white and pink ones. They're beautiful. Did you kiss them at least three times? Why would I not kiss them three times, Aaron? Just making sure. Just making sure you're doing the right business deals. The right business deals. Actually, I do have his payment that I have to send him on my way to practice today, which I shouldn't forget. I'm going to take it out the door. Aaron, what have you been playing? Um... Bro, I don't play video games. What do you mean? Just give me give me anything. Oh, okay. Well, the only game I've been playing, because it just came out and it's what I'm going to play until I beat it, is Persona 3 Reload. Because I had a really busy week, so I only played video games yesterday. And how do you like it? That game that you've never played before? I mean, I've never played Persona 3 Reload. It just came out. Okay. You've never played Persona 3 before, though, right? Liar. Not for- I've never played Persona 3 Feds all the way through. Okay. I've only played Fair. Persona 3 Portable. <laughs> but you beat um, it. I did beat Portable. But, um, yeah, so I'm about 28 hours into Reload now. Okay. Um, it feels like it's going faster than I remember, which is probably a good thing, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, RPGs, I just, it's so hard to play them over and over, man. Or at least for me. This is very different from Portable, like very different because there's so many more cutscenes, so much more. They've added a bunch of combat things. Tartarus isn't like exactly the same the whole way through. It looks a lot better. Right. It's still basically the same, but it looks different, which makes it easier. Um, which makes it, I mean, that's good. They've added a lot more new conversations. There's a lot of voice acting. This is Yakuza. What the fuck? There we are. Maybe it was, maybe it was a oh, now they're showing like Persona two. Is it two? Maybe one. Oh, did I put that in the news? There, it might be. Maybe we come over, but I saw that there might be a Persona one and two remake in development. I Ooh, I could be into that. Yeah, um, I'm showing the, everything else. That's like even that's old Persona three. Yeah, this oh, is a wrong it. video. Anyway, how are you liking it? Speak um, on it. It's good, honestly. Like, there's not too much I can really. Ow, I have a tooth problem. Yeah, good. Um, there's not too much I can really say besides it's literally, for right now, from in my opinion so far, one of the perfect remakes. Like, it's everything I could have asked for. It's very faithful, but like, adds enough difference that it makes it better. It's just really good, honestly. Good. Um. But the reason I haven't played much is because I had a real busy week. Tuesday, I ran training, um, which my training's an hour from where, like an hour and 10 minutes from where I live. So I worked Tuesday, then had to go do training. Didn't get home until like 11. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I worked and had shows each day, which technically I had a match on Wednesday, even though I'm not cleared. You Um, are breaking the law of your knee. It was supposed to just be a brawl, which brawling I can do. And then they added a, a waterfall at the end, which is... I know, you like, gotta define waterfalls for me. Have you ever seen in a match with multi-people where, like, two guys are in, one guy hits, like, a big move, then another guy slides and hits a big move on him, then another guy slides and hits a big move on him? Okay. That's a waterfall. Um, Don't go chasing waterfalls. I'll do what I want. Okay. Um... But it was me, uh, two local guys who are pretty good versus Rhino, Shane Douglas, and Madman Fulton. I like those guys. 
And uh, yeah, I, uh, it was kind of cool. I got to beat up Shane Douglas with a cook, like a frying cookie sheet. And then I hit him with a trash can. That was fun. Um, and then Thursday, we got to run in and beat up Rhino. And I got to wait 10 minutes for a Sandman entrance and then get hit by a kendo stick by him. Uh, Squid has asked us, would you rather chase waterfalls or stick to the rivers and lakes? Uh, as pertained by the greatest theme of the world, RoboQuest, behind waterfalls is usually a robot who is missing his swim trunks. And he will give you legendary perks once you get them for them. So, I will stick to the waterfalls. RoboQuest invented first-person shooters is what I'm trying to say. So, you see, you now mixed them, because it's not stick to waterfalls. It's stick to rivers and lakes or chase waterfalls. And well, you I want to stick to waterfalls, so you've, well, you've already right. failed. Well, I wanna, I'm sticking to chasing waterfalls. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. So, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I want to get behind you. and just say uh, rivers and lakes, because... Uh, God, you're a cunt. Because fuck Kev. Actually, I made I made a whole uh, whole thing about English UK lore TikTok today. Apparently. Why? Because isn't cunt just the word they say as like your homies? I don't know, it's not just homies. I mean, I call it is a word they use way more common. I the... call my sharpie cunty at work because it dried up. It's yeah, just no. it's a thing that happens. It is a word way more used in like the UK and Australia and stuff. And it's a wonderful word. It, f it, it flows really well off the tongue. Yeah. I mean, I can use it to describe so many things. I mean, it's a fit all. It is like something's be, I like, I remember when me and Tina first started dating, she's like, that word's really mean. I'm like, what if I'm not saying it to you? I'm saying this toaster oven didn't toast my bread enough. So it's kind of being a cunt. Like, yeah, it cunt is, uh, it's like a, it's like a, it's kind of the equivalent to fuck. Just different, yeah. Just uh, apples and uh, ah, Squid just said UK version yeah. of fuck. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Great well, timing on that. If, if all you played is Persona Three Reload, I haven't I played too many. Wrestling. Well, who plays that? Who play wrestles? Do you, Aaron? Me, brother. Well, that's dumb. Uh, Aaron broke this whole thing. Damn it! I broke my PS5 controller that I use on my PlayStation. Or am I uh, not PlayStation? On my PC. PC, because there's a PC gamer nerd. Anyway, uh, I've been still playing Enter the Gungeon. I think the farthest I've gotten is like the fourth floor. Fuck you. How many floors are there? I think there's eight. So. Oh, uh, you've only gotten to the fourth floor, dude. I'm slowly getting better and better, getting more weapons. Uh, the run I was on now before we started the podcast, actually, uh, I got a minigun, which just vaporizes bosses. So I'm hoping that I can uh, beat this. Probably me. I don't know. I'm not going to predict one because I'll probably seem like a silly ninny. So Yeah, you'll not predict like in a week and beat it tomorrow or predict to beat it in a week and beat it in like six months. I mean, I love me some roguelikes. Even after I beat it, I'm going to, like, play it continually. Um, it's no RoboQuest, which is still, blessed be, the best uh, roguelike out there, and I'll stand by that. Uh, I heard this game, that, honestly. Yeah, well, you don't even play video games, so what opinion do you have? I have beaten two and a half video games this year, and I'm 30 hours into a third one. Well, I'm glad you said you beat games, Aaron, and what a great time to transition to my tier list. Just kidding, I don't have anything new to add. But I did play something that I haven't played in a long, long time this week. Cause, penis. Uh, yeah, I did play them a penis. Um, but oh, that's yeah. not for this. I actually played a little bit of Overwatch 2 on Wednesday because... I'm uh, sorry for your loss. No, what the fuck is everyone's problem? This is, like, I had so much fun playing this. Like, I know people had their issues with the launch, but, like, this game's fucking fun. Um, so... That that's the main thing is people are just mad that it literally didn't have to be a new game. Like it didn't, and and honestly, that type of stuff annoys me. Okay, I, I mean, off games for that, so that's why I'm zero chance because here's here's the counterpoint. It's fucking free. Still, I don't I don't understand what the issue is. Like, oh no, we like yeah, okay. The name Overwatch Two is dumb fine but like it's just free it's um, fun i don't get i don't i think the hate's fun. a little overblown I, personally, personally i don't think it's that fun i wasn't a big fan of the first overwatch either Th that's fine if you don't like the game you don't yeah. like the game but like i know people are like this game is fun it's a great time but i hate how they launched it just fucking move it on giving you a game free to play model does involve those sins it makes them worse 
But I don't get what the sin is. That's what, like... I played Overwatch 1, and then I went to 2, and I'm like, I don't know, I, I, it's fine. I'm having a good time. I personally don't get it, but I'm not going to try to tell you to play it if you don't want to. That's fine. I'm going to have a good time. Anywho, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's a, I'm having a good time with this. Me and Child played it, Ziggy played it with us. Uh, then Evil Guy came in. It's a good time. I might, might dabble in on this a little more. Oh, that reminds so, uh, me. I told you I installed Fortnite, right? So I have that yeah, you, you showed us. I, I'll play that with you too. Okay, because I'm ready this to weekend, play. Yeah, this weekend I'm a little busy. Today, me and Tina are doing early Valentine's Day because fuck going out on Wednesday. Yeah, Nietzsche and, I, Nietzsche and I are going to do it Thursday because she's off and I have a short day at work. So we're yeah. going to do it the day after Valentine's Day. But also, yeah. the following week is our seven year anniversary. So it's kind of like we can do it like in the middle and do it for yeah. both. I just, I don't know. I've never been a Valentine's Day fan. Uh, and actually, years ago, I sent flowers to Tina's work, which she told me never, ever, ever to do again because there was really? a bunch of di- divorce cunts in her office. See, we're so using the word pissy. again. They were all pissy. She's like, please never do that again. And this year, I've decided to completely ignore that. And I'm sending her flowers at her office. Damn. Yep. Well, there, now there's less people at her office. And the one's married, she's married, and then the two owners are married. I figured this will be fine. So fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it this year. I'm be like, okay, I gotta make my mistakes twice, you know. Yeah, you gotta make sure. Maybe it won't be a mistake this time. Um, Maybe not. You know, she always tell me, Kev, keep the bi- uh, people busy, keep talking. I'll be right back. I gotta go grab something. So there's that. Anyway, yeah, I mentioned you know I don't know anything about the Final Fantasy VII remake enough to like play it. I know I should. But somebody give me a reason. Oh my god, this mobile game ad. Can we talk about mobile game ads while we're here? Let's just watch it. Together. Like I don't. I, actually, I have a another thing to worry about. Mo- oh my god, there's a banana in her mouth and whipped cream on her face. God, I love mobile games. This is a YouTube ad. For all the audio people, they won't get it. But here's the, the shitty part I had about mobile games. So the last work call I was on, guys. I oh Aaron will be here too for this. So this is great. So I was trying to find something to kill time at breaks at work because where we took break was a, uh, like a basement. So there was no service anywhere. And I realized, you know, what's the shittiest part about mobile games. They all need fucking internet for no goddamn reason. And I like, and, and I put on the most of them. Yeah, no, but it, it, right. But here's the thing. So I put it on Reddit as a little rant to be like, Oh, why are mobile games suck? What does everyone say? Ads free to play. They want to get your money. Here's where I call bullshit. I was trying to play some goddamn Gunfire Reborn, a game I actually like, and that game cost six ninety nine on mobile. I like the game so much, I said, "Fuck it, I want to bring it with me everywhere." I paid for the fucking game. I want to play it single player, and I still need internet. Why? There's no goddamn sad. reason. What? To make you sad. It really was, dude. Fuck mobile games. So anyway, I'm not working at that job site anymore, so it doesn't matter. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Ha ha ha, I peed in my basement. So, uh, that's really all I played. It's a really short list this week, but I'm still working on uh, fucking Enter the Gungeon. That's my that's my quest in life. I can't believe you didn't have a list of 12 games. I'm, that's crazy. Well, usually the list builds up because we miss a week, and then I have to talk about every game. Yeah, that's fair. One of my favorite no mobile games does it need? In that connection, Polytopia is kind of a simple one. Yeah, it's, all right, so it's a Civ knockoff. I... Me problem, I just don't like Civ games. So, and actually, the worst part is, and I know, Utopia, huh? I'll have to check that out because I am yeah. a that, that's that's a that's an Aaron type shit right there. It is, but here's the thing that's shitty. I've gone into the the Play Store and I've literally they have tags that say offline game, and then it's a fucking lie. It's like so a lot of the games they need to be downloaded and open for the first few times online because they have a bunch of data they have to download and right. then you can play it offline which cool is i so i I've, I've tried that guess what some are just fucking lies oh i believe it so like fuck this so yeah mobile games are ass i was thinking about buying like a uh oh can i find it tetris hold on keychain game i think i found one of these it's like a little like I was about to go on Amazon and get what like a little uh like handheld Tetris thing to put on my keys. Can I show this without like showing my address? These. 
upon. Does it show my address anywhere? Blah, 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 blah. I don't think Bring it does. Bring the picture up big. Yeah, it does right here. I'm not going to do that. Wait, hold just on. pull the picture up big. I'm going to. Hold on, Aaron. I highlighted the whole page like a dumbass. Whoa. No, Amazon won't do that. One of these. I was thinking about getting like a, 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 key, a key ring Tetris game just to like have something to play if I'm bored at work. No. That's fair. Just, it's, I don't get why. Mobile games are dumb. And also just like, I don't know what it is. I can even be playing like Game Pass games on my did phone. Turn off the, okay. Yeah, I did. I made All sure. Right. Oh, I didn't have your, your stream up, so I wanted to make sure you didn't accidentally. Yeah. But like, I, I can, oh, there's an Oregon Trail one. Nice. Actually, you know what I would like to do with you, Aaron, which would be a fun time? Have, yeah, I, I think I've told you about the Oregon Trail, right? Yeah, you've mentioned it. You've mentioned I it. Think, I think that would be fun just to sit on stream and be like, all right, Aaron, make decisions. Like, we have, like, you, me, Chris, I'll fucking throw Chell and Tina in the party. Just, like, take turns making decisions. Yeah, I'll be like, let's make decisions for the for the crew. All right, and we just... down. I love also, shit like that. Speaking of stupid shit, uh, we're going to try to do another Jackbox night if you all want to play. The tentative date is the second. So, uh, oh, if that... Kev, when are you and I going to finally try uh, GM mode? I don't know. You're the one that like has weird wrestling times. That's fair. And work times. I I mean I own uh, also your game. game. I was like, I own the game, so like whenever you want, you just got you got you got to give me the talky talks, brother. Brother, brother. I don't know. Ooh, also, you want to know where me and Tina are going? Oh wait, I don't want to do the location. We're going to a barcade that we've been to a couple times today for early oh, Valentine's yeah. Day. Hella pinball, yeah. dude. And yeah, there's the fun. Enter the Gungeon Light Gun game, and I want to play I've that again. Never been to a barcade before. When's the next time you're coming to this shitty hole of the state? Probably won't be until closer to the end of the year. Fix Unless it, I get a random wrestling booking. Once I get come back, then then I I'll mean, make a one day. How trip. close is Southington to you? From here? Well, from like where you would be in Connecticut. Oh well, dude. Anywhere in Connecticut doesn't make a difference to me. It's, it's all within yeah, two right. hours. Like that's just a regular drive to training for me. Meanwhile, I'm like an hour drive. I'm like, fuck all that. I don't want to do See, that. That's that's the thing. Is like, so hour drives. We used to go to Enfield, um, which was about an hour from where I lived in Colchester, for training five nights a week. So I kind of got used to an hour. But that was only for that. Anything else, when I was living in Connecticut, that was like 30 minutes or more. I was like, oh, that's so far. Um, now it's like I need to drive 30 minutes to hit a major highway to go anywhere. Uh, Ohio is so much bigger to do everything, plus all the pro wrestling and, sh- and traveling. It's like, oh, yeah, like five hours. That's a day trip. Five hours do. there, do the show, five hours back. That's nothing. Like we're, what me and Tina have like planned for our early Valentine's Day thing is to go to the barcade and then drive all the way back to Milford for dinner because we have a gift card to a place. I'm like, this is going to be this is going to be a, a trip. Yeah, I know, and I'm driving, which I hate doing. Actually, I, I'd rather me drive than Tina drive because with peace and love to my wife, uh, cutting, getting cut off and somebody politely merging in a lane is the same thing to her. Fair. Like every, she'll call me on the way home from work sometimes. Just tell me, but you know, about her day, whatever. Do the husband thing, and like every time she calls me on the phone on the way home from work, there is somebody who's committing a mortal sin of traffic, <laughs> and I'm like, this can't happen every time you drive. It has to be you at this point. There's no way every time you drive, somebody is doing something that is threatening your life to this extreme. That's kind of funny. So there's that. I respect, uh, I respect it honestly. We do. Let's hit the gauntlet quick, cause I want to see if anything came out. Actually, we didn't add anything, did we? No. Do you want to give the gauntlet? I mean, there's not a lot this. Tell week, you what. So. No, it's no, it's a move. We should every week we should either add things, and then the next week we could look up things. Well, I was just gonna say, do you want to just like add a bunch of stuff this week? Yeah, we'll we'll swap and go. What's coming out? Uh, Lil John wants to do what? If you don't have a score. Hell Divers Two came out yesterday, so it should have a score. Put, it, put in Hell Divers. This won't show scores, I don't think. Well, it's coming out. Do we know not to? That's true. I want to see what games are even coming out. Uh, Apex Legends coming out. Fight Crab. What the fuck is Fight Crab? I don't know, but we're writing it down. Bro, oh, it's an early access trailer. No, no. Uh... We'll write it down, but most likely there won't be scores. Bro, this is Monster Hunter with crabs. 
Hell yeah, dude. What's bro. I caught a case of crabs, bro. Dude, this game looks fucking sick. Yo, Fight Crab looks aw- Oh, wait, it's dark. Bro, it's Fight Crab 2. There's a prequel. Oh, fuck. Make up bro, that. to advance in the crab. And it's got anime titties, Aaron. You're at set. Oh, my God. There's waifus? I mean. Yeah. Yo, your crab can lift weights? And it's That's using the do- Yo, this is fucking sick. I hope this is Steam Deck compatible. <laughs> so stupid. All right, Fight Crab like- looks like the greatest game ever. <laughs> Why does that even exist? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, what else we got? Spell Isn't Force. Stronghold game? Where? Stronghold oh, Stronghold Definitive, Definitive Edition. Edition. What's that? That's a I, I don't know if they made a new one, but that's um that's a really old like real time strategy series that I played um, when I was like in elementary school that was hard as shit back then. What is Ultros Hisima Amishima Edition? Yo, I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm not typing that. You can just copy. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I'm kind of have either of you guys played the Skull and Bones beta. I have zero interest in Skull and Bones. Oh, it's the honestly like yeah. I'm I'm with Kev now. As much as I like, I was actually kind of excited for it when it was first announced, but it's missed the mark. And I just I personally don't care. I saw some people playing it. It looked kind of okay, but it also again looked like Black Flag. Yeah. Well, uh, like I'll just go play Black Flag. It's at the um, point now where that game, yeah, it's been hyped for so long and announced so long ago. I just I don't care, and I not to not to yuck your yum, but I have zero faith in that game. Yeah, but I really hope it's good, and I hope the people that are excited for it have yeah. fun. Did you see that Ubisoft called it a quadruple A game? Like, Why? Yeah, it took twenty seven years to make. Yeah, I'm like, all right, calm down, guys. If it's good and like I see people having fun with it, like sure, I'll I'm not gonna. Well, I, I know it off as a whole. Point, my point is, is like it doesn't. The little bit I saw looked like it was just Black Flag. Like, why doesn't it look a million times better with all the length it took? And why doesn't it look like there's a lot more to do? Granted, it's the demo, and it could just be you know easing them into it from what I saw. But like, it literally looked like it's just Black Flag. If you're gonna put that much time and money into a game, I expected it to be Black Flag on steroids. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I will say, I want to see where it goes. Um, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm on a wait because I have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth to play the demo. Um, like a Dragon uh, just went on sale on Steam, and that's kind of the next game I think I'm going to play after Persona 3 Reload. Yeah. So I bought that since I had a little bit of extra money because I got a refund on something. Hot Bruni, Hello. Um, all right, Aaron, Ooh, put this game down. Good. Put uh, put down Lords of Exile because this game looks fucking sick. Stupid. No, it looks awesome. Hold on, oh, Bruni, shout outs in the way. Damn it, Bruni, why did I shout you out? I don't like you that much. Just kidding, you're pretty cool. Wow, why are you nah, she's me? great. Nah, she's great. Uh, so I'm we got totally. Lords of Exile looks sick in a Castlevania game. Is this on my that's never that's ending that's list of games? Ish. All right, I'm putting this on my never ending list of games. Lords of Exile. I this is why I do the gauntlet because I want to see things that I've never even heard of. Where's the fight? Epic bosses. Bruni, you're great. Stop it. Lords of Spider. Yo, Spider Man, bro. Spider Man. It looks like a Spider Woman, honestly. Uh, Discord did the gray thing again. It's broken. All right, you break uh, the thing because it fucking sucks. The two. Oh, I forgot. Tomb Raiders one through three were getting remastered. Gross. I'm kind of into that because I want them to not play with shitty tank controls. Unless well, they keep them, in which case I'll just never the, play. It's remastered, not a remake. They're going to keep shit. Uh, the controls. Can we the only not? way to get rid of them is probably like a PC mod or something. Can we not? That's, how I, that's the only way I played original Resident Evil 4 is there's a PC mod that makes mouse and keyboard basically not tank controls. Uh, Hellscape, what is this? You're skating in hell, brother. God, Aaron, are you? You're so wise. Well, holy shit! Oh, early access. I'm not, I, I, did we put the crab on there? Because that was early access. I don't know if it's like fair to. No, nah, most of them. We yo, shouldn't. this game looks fucking sick, actually, though. Yo, Tony Hawk plus like third hell. person combat. You're literally skating in hell, bro. Bro, this looks this looks sick as fuck, dude. Yo, to my never ending list. I, don't, I honestly, I'm one of those people that always thought the Tony Hawk games were not as good as people remember. 
but that's me. Uh, some of them are. Some are, like, but like I never thought they were like because they had good stories. Like the old original ones, like they were good games for the time, but I can't go back and play them because they don't really have stories, and I, I want wait, stories in my game. Wait, did you see the best thing it said right there? No. Numbers go up. Like, watch, oh, he got numbers go up, which means I hate it. I love it. Uh, Tony Hawk That's games peaked in two. Agree. I that agree with that. Wrong. I agree. Underground 1 and 2 are both better than 2. I honestly stopped caring, so to be fair, I didn't play them. I enjoyed right. having story and reason to do stuff, whereas none of the games before Underground had story. That's fair. All right, I'm going to see what uh, Undercover wrong. is. Wait, you're just wrong. Absolutely wrong. Undercover is, oh, it's a VR game. Gross. We're out. You don't need story for skateboarding, but you can have one. You don't need uh, it, but having it. You know what? Better. Is skull is skull and bones on there? Mm, no, but I can add it. Yeah, Legend of Heroes: Trails of Cold Steel. I want to try any of these. Are these worth it? I have not played Trails of Cold Steel. I do want to. Um, I, I hear they're it. pretty good. I have it on my list, so I guess I should start one. But, like, I've never played one of them. It's just, like, the series, I feel like, has been going on for so long that, um, like... Just, like, start with one of the ones. It doesn't have to be, like, it doesn't have to be, like, oh, you have to go start with Legends in the... Like, Trails in the Sky or whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, Just start with, like, Trails of Cold Stone. Are they, like, self-contained stories like that? Um, they connect. Okay. But, like... You don't need to know everything. Like Trails of Cold Steel one through four, all are like a concurrent thing. Same with like the what the fuck is it called? Peace. Trails in the sky. There we go. Trails why is in the my sky. why is my Discord window fucking off? What happened? Oh my god! Yo, th- I think I I made Discord way worse. Oh, uh, you're really just breaking shit. Yeah, I've made Discord way Enjoy worse. Enjoy the look of my keyboard, guys. Now I'm fixing it. This podcast is is a absolute cock show every time we do it. Anyway, I don't know what a cock show is to be honest with you. Showing Mark Cox, bro. I love that nobody told me either to fix it. That's great. Uh, all right. What is Slave Zero X? Sounds awful. Yeah. Ooh, this looks sick. Put it down. Yo, the man th- sees one beat em up screen and automatically assumes it's gonna be. The it's like game that game. Sega Saturn beat em up style, which is why I like it. Put it, put, 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 put it there. Put it there. Put it in the thing. I don't even remember the name of it. Slave Zero X, brother. In a throwback prequel. Man, it's a it's throwback it. prequel. I'm in. Slave. That awful. How do I play the original? What are you typing? I put it in my my never ending list of things that I want to play. What about my needs, Aaron? You don't have needs. You Wait, need I think needs. I've heard of that game. What was I think Slave Zero was on Saturn. That makes sense. We're going to beat him up. Someone make Final Fight, but give it Street to Rage 4 treatment. Have you never seen the Final Fight game on PS2? That's, that's just the worst, actually. Just the worst. It's so fucking bad. There's literally not that much coming out, is there? The rest of it. Well, it's the beginning of the year. What is flooded? Well, I guess I'm just going to put Final Fantasy VII Rebirth just because I know it comes out. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. They should do something with uh, Final Actually, that comes up in one of the news stories um, that we'll talk about. Oh, the Star Wars Dark Forces remaster. Oh, you know what that is? I didn't even know that was getting remastered. Yeah, I used yeah. to play that. Was it N64 I played that on? Is that what PS1. That was, on? Was, it P- was it only on PS1 or was it also on N64? No, it was only on PS1. The, the N64 one was like Shadows of the Empire or something. Okay. Well, dude, during that time, there were so many Star Wars games. Yeah, I know well, I were, played it. They were really... uh, Most of them were solid. This doesn't even have a thing. Okay, now we're into March. So we got some games for next time. We'll look them up. Did they even put and, uh, Rebirth on this list? Yeah, did you put... You were just said you were going to put it on there. Yeah, I put it on there, but it's on their list. I didn't see it on their list. I was curious. No, I didn't see it. That's funny because it comes out the 28th. I oh, thought. it's right here. Hold on. Two weeks left. It's February 29th. 29th, though. My bad. You forget, Aaron. It's leap year. That means you got to do something horny for the last day of the month. Is that how that works? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Anyway. Uh, all right. 
we got news. There's some news. Not a whole lot, but there's news. Your news. Don't send my nudes. All right, this is a a multi-part story. So we got Xbox teasing a new future of Xbox as the there are rumors that they're going to bring all their games to every platform. Everyone was just horny for this. Uh, But there's going to be a business update. They're not going to do like no exclusives anymore, right? That's the thing. Nobody knows because I think there was like a rumor that Hi-Fi Rush and Sea of Thieves were going multi-plat, which everyone just decided Xbox ain't going to make consoles anymore. Uh, and Xbox Air Report claimed that there was a PS5 version of Starfield coming, which means dick all. Um, hi, Luke. How you doing? Uh, and then, like, they had insiders claiming that Indiana Jones and Gears of War were going to go multi-plat. But, like, that's the thing. They were literally just rumors, and everyone was like, there's no point in having an Xbox anymore, baby. It's it's a waste of time. And, like, they haven't said anything about it. Apparently, this, book- this says that he, Spencer, broke his silence, and we're listening, we hear you. We've been playing a business update event for next week where we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of Xbox. Yeah, but, like, again, it's based off, like, nothing at all. Well, like, say, he, he said, like, he's he's actually going to tell us, so we'll find out. But the, the event was already planned. Yeah. So, like... Well, yeah, they're not just going to automatically come, walk in one day and be like, you know what? We're just going to put all our games on all the systems, dude. Hell yeah! I mean, just like, do it. I mean, even, Like, even if it's already been planned, the, like, it... It would have been planned for a while, which means rumors could swirl. Like, that's kind of how it works. So my friend is a giant PlayStation fanboy more than you, and he, like, at, at practice last night. Oh, he was I'm like, selling my PlayStation. I'm not even a fanboy anymore. I said what I said. You got to get rid of your remote now. What are you going to do? You spent money on that. I'll still use it. I don't care. It's memes. I memes are memes. appointment reminder? Oh, next week. Um, there is, like, he was like, so what do you think about this? I'm like, they didn't say anything. He's like, What's the point of having an Xbox? And like at the first point, like I was like, I do stand by that exclusive sell boxes because otherwise, what's the point of having one versus the other? But like then I then I thought about like uh, if it's a Game Pass machine, I'll still buy it because like let's use Persona Three Reload. I could spend seventy dollars on it or download it on the Game Pass. Still, that has a point. And then there's a, the people who are like, oh, just. Get it on PC, and you're fucking weird if you think I'm gonna do that, because I won't. There's people I like will. me who, yeah, there's people like me who just don't want to deal with PCs, man. They exist. It's just, it's too much headache. I don't want to deal with it. I've had so much headache playing on PC, bro. I can't wait till one of your drivers just decides to shit itself. You're gonna be like, Ugh. and then you're gonna open TurboTax and play the only game you're allowed to play. Bro, I'll just rest. download more RAM. Chill. Oh shit, dude! Actually, you know what? Can I do that real quick? Download. I got it. I meant to get more. Download more RAM. Let me let me get a couple. Hold on. Hell yeah, dude! I meant to do this before the podcast, guys. I know this is rude. You only need sixteen. You only need sixteen, dude. Now nah, I'm going thirty-two, bro. Wow. PCs do exist, but like I don't want to. I don't want to deal with playing on PCs, PCs especially as a, as a streamer. I don't want more resources being taken up by the game. Get and then my streamer and shit. I do. Why I gotta go spend another thousand dollars on another computer? No, I didn't tell Damn. you to spend a thousand. Oh, I forgot to hit the download button. My bad. I didn't get more RAM. I just don't want to deal with it. I don't. This, this is why Kev can't deal with uh PC. He forgets to hit the start button. I forget to, I forget to download the RAM. <laughs> it's just it's not worth the the effort and stress to me. I never like sat and looked at a PC version of a game and been like, wow, that's worth paying. I'm sorry that you can't admire horse testicles in all their glory i just i, I never <laughs> found it to be so much better that i have to go get it and play game on PC. for me personally it's the mods that make it so much better if that's, that's your thing game. cool i but that's because I, I like replaying games i like and then yeah. adding differences to them makes it fun yeah you get remasters of legend of Legaia. jade cocoon dot hack there's a actually i saw a great jade cocoon dot movie. hack i'm down Remember that time we were talking about that news story? Anyway, I actually saw a good video the other day um, talking about why you, like, you're like, oh, they use Medieval as an example. Like, you know Medieval, the PlayStation game, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. I never played it. Okay, great. You're a good person for this. But, like, all right, Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal, right? hell yeah. I love those. Games. Yeah, a game that you think was super popular, right? 
I would assume. The, 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 the whole video was going over why you're not seeing these games. Because, like, yeah, you and your friends definitely love Twisted Metal. Guess how many of them, like, broke a million sales? Probably not like, many. No, almost, I think maybe one. And like, that's why they don't make these games anymore. Like, and why all these games, like, you're like, where's Legend of Dragoon, Kevin, who loves that game? Turns out, nobody fucking cares about it in the grand scheme. It's a bunch of bean counters going, nope, not working. Wow. Which, it's also crazy, too, because sometimes, yes, that's 100% true, but then sometimes there's games that just get, like, the shit end of a stick. Like, oh, look, the 3DS is out, but we're still making it. We were told we had to make this game for DS only, and, like, well, random yeah. shit like that that causes sales to drop, or just, like, timings of when games are released versus others. Like, there is other reasons, but, yeah, no, you're not wrong at all. Yeah, it, it's it, it really, like, broke down, like, Maybe you and your circle of people you talk to think this game, oh god, is super popular, but like it's like really not. And it shows how much like casuals like come into things, like not to be that guy again, but like people talk about how they want physical games in forever, and like more people who play games want physical media when the stats show absolutely otherwise. Well, that's like, the other thing is, um, what's really gotten me to focus on this is the wrestling community actually. Because there's so, like, the online wrestling community is so vocal about what they want. But then you go to 99% of shows, indie or big TV shows, and 90% of the crowds are nothing like the the Twitter community, what they want. Because they're a a very much a minority, but they're very vocal on what they want because that's what they're focused on. Whereas the more casual fans will be like, hell yeah, I just had fun at a wrestling show. Now I'm going to go do this with my life. It's a solid reminder that what you see online is absolutely not real life at all. Almost uh, I'm at, every single part of social media, yeah, it's a minority. Here's the video in chat for everyone who cares. And uh, if Kev remembers to put it in the description, maybe, well, you know what? I'm going to. Just, yeah, put it as a news article and you'll remember. Yeah, then I'll remember. It's definitely worth watching. It kind of makes you realize, like, yeah, I'm glad you think that was important. Uh, it wasn't. So. I thought that it wasn't important. It's just like how you, you get it. Uh, okay. So anyway, value what you think it is. Correct. Just because right. your friend group. Yeah. Now I'm going to stand out that this article has an AI image and it's not what this is happening. So just calm down. Whoa. But, we're going to need an Xbox switch crossover. Maybe because uh, there's uh next gen Xbox is on track for 2026. So there is a skew, including a switch like handheld which I'm about because as much as I love playing Game Pass Cloud, uh, it's still cloud. It's still, it has well, hiccups. Game Pass on the Steam Deck, dude. But that's the thing. So, like, there's a, there's the rumor about, uh, what's it called? You know, they're not going to make consoles anymore. And then immediately there was like, but there's also this rumor, like, which goes to prove the internet's not real life. And maybe we should all just calm down a little bit before people decide things. Uh, I would love, a, a, like, a straight up, like Xbox handheld, oh, if solely to download. Be. Yeah, just to download things. Because, like, I do have Game Pass on my Steam Deck, but it's all cloud and it's annoying. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. My, and here we go. Microsoft probably won't leave the console business, at least not for the next several years. If they do, sick. There's winners and losers, I guess. But, not well, if they make enough money off of other things that they could easily just start focusing on software and game pass and get away with it but at the same time they'd be putting some money on the table that i don't think they're willing to part with just yet Um, now if parts keep going up in price i could see them doing it in the future but i did see and i didn't put it in here that there's been a lot of new like game pass rebranding on ads and stuff where they're getting rid of the xbox logo and they're just calling it like microsoft game pass Oh, that so. makes sense, actually, because I had to throw away a bunch of the Game Pass Ultimate gift cards, and they yeah. had a whole new one that looked exactly the same, except for, like, well, the one difference is there wasn't, like, Xbox logo on it. I think they're trying to get, like, other platforms more comfortable with, like, putting Game Pass on other things. Sure. If that makes sense. You Put know, Game like Pass maybe... on my TV, brother. Or, like... Your, your wild pie in the sky maybe like on playstation or switch if they want game pass it doesn't say like xbox on it you know so there's that uh rumors are rumors we'll see what happens speaking That's of game pass 
there's a leak coming out and there's new stuff coming to the Game Pass machine, baby. I don't think they've officially announced it yet, but... Bad games. Resident Evil 3, which I want to play. Bad because... game. No, it's a... Actually, it's it's a good game. It's just disappointing. Yeah. Uh, Played Up, which I've never played. And then... I heard um, a lot of people love Played Up, actually. I've, I've heard it's just overcooked, isn't it? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. And then Madden 24, baby. Aaron, Aaron's favorite. Bro, I I don't care about sports games anymore. I know that's hard for you to believe, but like, yeah, because I, just... I as I say every year, a sports game gets announced and people go wild and they go no no no. This year they fixed it. They fixed all them problems they got, and then halfway through the year, everyone's like, "Geez, fucking broken and it sucks." It happens every fucking year. Well, you're already wrong for me because they've already announced the new MLB. They have the release date. They have the cover athlete, and I'm still not getting it because I don't care. Why? And why don't you care? Um, one because it's still on PS4 or in Xbox One. It's not just next gen, which the PlayStation Five's been out for 700 years now. Fucking just make it next gen. You can you can walk into any Walmart and buy a PlayStation Five or Xbox Series X now. Like, it, right. I understood the first couple of years not doing doing it on both. But you can walk into any Walmart and pick them up now. There's no excuse. It's been out long enough. If people want to play this game, it's it's not next gen anymore. It's current gen. People, they're yeah. already talking about next gen in two to three years. Like, and we don't even have games that are basically exclusive to this gen. They're, I, yeah. They like, it's, it's stupid. And I just, I'm over it. Like... It's going to be the exact same game with some quality of life updates and going to be different content. Hopefully they fix the content because actually, to be honest, last year's game gameplay wise was the best MLB in many years. It really was mm-hmm. all the way through the year. But the content was one of the worst in many years. Yeah. So if they fix the content, I'm sure it'll be a fine game. I'm not getting it. Selling my PS5. That was the only game I was waiting to see before I sold my PS5. And because it's going to be on both, if I super care and it gets goes on sale for 20, 30 bucks, I can just buy it on PS4. I still have a PS4 sitting around. Rough. Don't well, care. yeah. I didn't really care about this story too much, but uh, Disney is putting a $1.5 billion stake in Epic. Well, that's yeah. cool. I guess. I don't know. It's, what. It, you know why it's cool? Well, my kids, Disney characters in Fortnite, bro. That's literally what everyone said. And if I see Mickey Mouse running around with an AK, bro. sick. Oh, you're going to quit Fortnite? Is it ruined Fortnite? Is Disney ruining Fortnite? No, I said that would be sick. Stop oh, it. Okay. What are you talking about? Uh, just... Bro, can you just imagine the let it go uh, emotes? <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a quick thing. Uh, speaking of Capcom games, there was a, a big old survey on Capcom's website, and uh, I missed it. There, uh, yeah, are there any Capcom game series, including spin-off games, that you would like to see get a sequel or new game? Uh, we got Dark Stalkers, we got Dino Crisis, Devil May Cry, Final Fight. Speaking of what Squid wanted, Breath of Fire. I tried three Breath of Fire games, and I, I just can't get into it. They're a very uh, specific style. Oh, they really God. are. I beat the first two. The third one, I was like, I don't get it. Let me see if I can get that Capcom survey. Let's see what's on here. Maybe we can do this together. How do I, like, link to it? Everyone needs to take this survey. Do I? Oh, here it is. Here's the survey. All right, Aaron. You want to do it? You know, what a, what a news story. What a news story. I'm in. I also put right. around time, so why not? I got two more. All right, quick things before we do this. Uh, Drake Fortune's remake is going to be out. You care? When's it coming to PC? Okay. Final Fantasy, probably a year after since that's what Sony's been doing. Uh, Final Fantasy yeah, yeah. Rebirth demo is out. You, you got I, anything I'm to say? I was going to talk how it's out, and but we kind of talked about it earlier. So. Okay, well, I'm glad we did all this. Let's take this Capcom survey. First, create a card slash wallpaper. You can um, do it. Okay. Uh, walking assistant robot. Naked Knight. That's my favorite. Yeah, we're doing that. Oh, it's from Ghosts and Goblins. Okay. I think that's probably going to determine which one you want. Ooh. Uh, if you could learn one special move, what would it be, Aaron? Um, Out of these ones, let's go... It's required. 
Spirit Blade. Oh, Spirit Blade. Okay. Please select the game systems you own. Well, Aaron owns a PlayStation Five. Literally, obviously. just click all of them. Well, you you have an Android. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing these. I don't want a mobile game. I'm not even letting them know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I don't have a phone, Capcom. Do not make a mobile game. Uh, we're from the United Arab Emirates, obviously. Uh, date of birth, you yeah, fine. Just put like a 1990. Or you can put your actual birthday. Yeah, I want everyone to wish me a happy birthday. I have an ego like that. Yes. Gender required. I'm a, I'm a boy. Oh, fuck, do I really have a female? Man. Yeah. Okay, hold on. All right. Da, da, da. Let's create a card, Aaron. We could do this. Oh, my God. It's making the card. Uh, I want to vote. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, can we get to the actual survey? All right. Wow, they really kind of they kind of made this like a big deal. All right, which of the following Captain moves do you like best? Maybe. Oh, you can only choose one. Mega Man the Power Battle. Oh, oh, I to, oh, oh. Yeah, you can only choose one. You have to search their games and choose oh, one game. Man. Oh, this is hard. What's my favorite Capcom game? Resident Evil 4. I don't... You know what? You're not... You're not wrong, actually. The new one. Yeah. Right? The, the remake yeah. is amazing. <laughs> Alright, who's your favorite Capcom character? Uh, you can put Mega Man, that's fine. Gonna put Mega Man. I don't want X. I want normal ass For Mega me, Man. it's stupid sexy Leon. He is hot. What do you look for, for in Capcom games? Exhilarating gameplay, Aaron? Uh, unique. Lines. I thought they said unique words, and I don't know what unique that was going to be. Yeah. All right. Storylines. We like unique words. Replay value. I definitely want that. You only get three, so we have to choose cut it down. Oh. I don't really care about graphics. Ability put, yeah, actually, actually, these are pretty. Do you agree on these or no? That's fine. All right. I would probably change replay value for characters myself, but that's fine. Uh, what image do you have of, on Capcom? The HQ is in Japan. <laughs> that is an image I have of Capcom. All right. Uh, weird in a good way. Global competitor, playful. Uh, you think Capcom's playful? Some dude says, I was promised hot singles in my area. Some dude, look in the mirror, bro. Damn. Damn. Uh, I said hot singles in your area. Uh, what else would I... I don't know. I would say unique. I, yeah, they're unique. A lot of their games are pretty unique. There, were, there is a Capcom feel to Capcom games, I got I will say. Yeah. All right, I got to take off the HQs in Japan. Uh, weird in a good way. I'll take that. I like how that nobody has, like, pioneered the microtransaction on disc movement, you know? All right, any yeah. Capcom game series that you would like to see? A sequel, and you can choose three. Let's just see what they all are first. So we got Dark Soccer's Okami, Onimusha, Ace Attorney, Street Fighter, Dragon's Dogma, Devil May Cry, Dead Rising, Dino Crisis, Sengoku, Basara, Horror, No Paruma, Toro Ware, versus Capcom, Resident Evil, Final Fight, Breath of Fire, 1942, Mega Man, Lost Planet, Monster Hunter, Ghost Goblin. I put my vote in for Mega Man. Um, I would say scroll up. Uh, me... Probably Dino Crisis. All right, Aaron's there, and then for the third one, let's flip a coin. Okay, <laughs> that works. Heads or tails, Aaron? Heads. Heads never feds. The fate of Capcom relies. On... Oh, tails! I get the vote. Uh, what do I want? We just had a Monster Hunter. Well, we just we're getting a Monster Hunter. I don't think I care enough about 1942. I'll be honest. I like that game, but. We just had a Street Fighter. I'm gonna go versus Capcom. Awful. Fuck you. Is there a game that you would like to see completely remade with the latest technology? Nijiruko no Kiseki, of course. What the hell is that? No, so Resident no, Evil no. is a no-brainer. Why is that even on this list? Are you image pretty game to game sequels that kill for new Onimusha? Well, then you should go to the survey. I mean, it's survey. still, I still think it's like uh, good to have them on there because it'll really show if they want them. 
if the hardcore fans still want those two. Because obviously, again, this is going to be, you're going to have more hardcore fans than casual fans doing these type things. You know what? I I actually do want a remade Oni Mucha. Uh, I was going to say Breath of Fire because it needs it really needs upgrades. Point and flip, heads or tails there. You call it this time. Heads. Yay, Oni Mucha. In February, Aaron? Come on. What was the first Capcom game you played, Aaron? You can search the you could search the game name here. I don't know, dude. This is your question. You have to know. What do you mean I have to know? Uh, Beautiful Joe would be. Oh, Beautiful Joe wasn't even a choice. Breath of Fire. I said before you got here, some dude. I played two and a half of the games. I don't get it. All right, I know what well, I. That's why I want it remade. Cause like yeah, oh, that's fair. Probably. Probably, yeah, one of the street. Ultra players. Street Fighter 2. The first Capcom I ever played was in that. Yeah, everyone, I feel like that was a lot of people's. Street Fighter EX2. Man, there's so many goddamn versions of Street Fighter 2. Ugh, Championship Edition, sure. Let's see. Which Capcom game has influenced you the most? Resident Evil 4. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look at your hair. You're looking like stupid, sexy Leon. At least that makes me stupid and sexy. Do you have a complaint you'd like to share with Capcom? No complaints. Keep up the good work. I'm surprised it doesn't like just jump to the next one if you joke that. Um, let's see. Too money oriented is honestly what I would. I would honestly say that. Like, they were the ones that pioneered literally like disc lock DLC. Hyper sure. deluxe. Pro because Street Fighter 2 the gen Oh Jesus Christ. Alright. We welcome all your support for Capcom. Yes, no, it depends on how Capcom asks. What do you mean? Oh maybe it's uh I don't know, it depends. Yeah, it depends it is. Alright, that's our goal. Oh, uh, do you have any final comments for Capcom? Yeah, give me a second. I'm just gonna say something constructive. <laughs> Constru say some I oh got constructive criticism for ca I can't spell. Yo, Chad GPT, give me an answer here. I'm just gonna give him this. Max 400 characters though. I'm gonna. There you go, Capcom. This is for you. I really cared. All right. All right. You know what? I'm gonna just copy this into what uh, somebody did. Shit, bring back auto modelista, to you cowards. Oh my goodness. There we are. Alright, some dudes vote your your vote matters. So this is this will be wild to see if Capcom actually takes any I mean they did that big presentation on the website. I feel like they're actually gonna care about it, you know? At least a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got an email for them. So I can't I hope they start blowing up your email now. Yeah, I'm going to get spam everywhere. I shouldn't have put a fake email in there. I was going to give you one, and then you just typed yours in, and I was like, all right, cool. Some dude, mark this day, February 10th. If they announce an automodelista after this episode of the Friend of a Fire podcast, you are, you are to be credited, and I'll make you a plaque. You are to like, be banned. Just like teeth, teeth plaque, though. I don't have money for, like, a real one. Are you going to yeah. knock out your own teeth to give to him? Hell yeah, dude. Be the new Dan Housen. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I teed I with think... that guy once. How did you like it? We only have 53 minutes here, and we got to kill time. Mine says an hour and one minute. I know you were live oh. for a little bit. Yeah, we got we to gotta kill something. No, we didn't. Whoa, whoa. Top, why are we killing people? Top 10 gaming list. Top 10 ECW wrestlers. Ew. You want to actually look up top ten ECW wrestlers? <laughs> let's see. Let's see if any of the three I wrestled. Top ten ECW wrestlers. All right, Aaron. According to Ranker.com. Hell yeah, dude. All right, look, let's let's look up our top ten. God, Taz. You know what I learned the other day? What? I don't think Taz is black. Is he? No, I don't think he is. I thought, I thought he was, he was. Like, really tan. I just thought he was. I don't know. It was like a really tan Italian or something. Yeah, I think he is Italian, but man, that yeah. man, that yeah. man loves his He's spray current tans. Ariana Grande. Damn, God. In <laughs> February, in February, 
Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. The Sandman. Hey, that guy hit me with a kendo stick last night. How did that go? Did you like it? Um, it's a good thing I have a, I wear like a, like vest gimmick because God damn, I felt it through that and it probably would have sucked if I didn't. The, the rebellious nature of Sandman made up for his lack of in-ring skills. Aaron, how could you say this about him? Um, he has great personality, connects with the crowd and he's crazy. But man, does he hit hard? He sure do. <laughs> Devon Dudley. Hey, I wrestled his kids. How how did you like it, Aaron? It was fun. They were good. They were solid. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Reverend Devon, one of the greatest gimmicks of all time, obviously. Yeah, his kids uh, wrestle as a tag team, TNT, Terrell, and something. How are you going to put Bubba Ray? You know what, Hot Take? Devon's better than Bubba Ray. Nah. I, just as a, just as with a the person. runs and everything, single runs, like with the Bully Ray stuff, yeah, he's still doing stuff now where Devon's really not. Well, that's because Devon knew when to quit. Uh, seven. Taz made his own damn title. Hey, I met his kid once. Hook? Yeah. Did he choke you out? No, it was literally like in passing. Oh, no, you didn't meet him at all. You just saw him like from across a hallway. Is that how friendships work to you, Aaron? I mean, no, like we, we like in passing said hellos. Oh, all right. Again, not, not to expose wrestling, but to expose wrestling, every single show you go to, at least on the indies, I don't know how it is in the bigger shows, you have to shake everyone's hand when you get there and when you leave. Way too much fucking work. Dude, it's so much work, and the problem is, um, if you don't do it, some angry vet will get mad at you and say you're the worst person ever, and you just got to hope that they're not important enough. So basically, if you don't shake Eric Bischoff's hand, what are you going to do with your life? I will never make fun of Eric Bischoff. What a wonderful guy. Okay. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> I, don't even... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Terry Funk. I, You know what? I know he just passed away, but I, I don't know much Terry Funk. I'm going to be honest. He's he's good. He's a very good worker. Yeah. Poor guy. Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer looks like the epitome of a nineties dad. Tommy Dreamer is like, you know, I can't I can't be mad for him being up there. And he's also still working to this day. Last I knew he was a champion in Impact or TNA now. Uh when I just watched it he wasn't I don't know what he I think he's doing a lot of backstage stuff there right now. He had like that the T the media title or whatever I thought. Uh the if you say his name and he appears, Joe Hendry. Did he just beat Dreamer for I thought Dreamer beat him for that. I don't I honestly have no idea. I just like Joe Hendry. <clears throat> I just want Joe Hendry around me all the time with this positive attitude. The man is a goddamn theater kid who got a wrestling gimmick. And I love it. Fair enough. Yeah. I feel like that's Dan Housen also, though. Maybe. And you. Cactus Jack, baby. Man, that guy looks kind of like Dude Love. He looks kind of like Mankind. If, you know, if How would you know? Him. Mankind has that mask on. I, it's just like I'm doing by the bone structure, which may have been oh, shifted okay. over time. And the, the hair and the handsome. The handsome. Yeah, the, the handsome. That's pretty much it. Why are we doing this list? Raven should have been number one. Uh, Raven. I met him once. Raven is fucking cool. I love yeah. Raven. He did a lot with one of my trainers, my current trainer, CK. Blue Meanie got to get a shirt that, that nah, fits. Dude, Blue Meanie should just not wear a shirt in general. Yeah, fair. Sabu. Hey, Gold. Sabu. And then obviously yeah. number one is Rob Van Dam because, yeah. yeah. Sabu, I uh, met last IWR show a month and a half ago. I was actually, he came out and also hit me. How many people are you getting beat up by on a, on a timely basis, Aaron? So IWR is okay. partially ran by Rhino. Right. Um, I'm in that Canadian group that is always oh. opposing. Oh shit. Idiot. That's yeah. always opposing Rhino. Right. So we go out there, we beat up Rhino, and then one of Rhino's ECW buddies comes out, makes the save, and beats us up. How do you just... <laughs> I mean, you are a Canadian, as we all know. Aaron yeah. Aaron Norman, my favorite Canadian person. Me, my other favorite uh, is Tom Latimer from the UK, Canada. <laughs> yeah, you're so Canadian, Aaron. Uh, give, me, give me your best Canadian accent. 
Beg. What the fuck word was that? Bag. I got that oh. straight from a Canadian who went to Tiff University. Instead of bag, she says beg. You didn't want to go to Tim Hortons, eh? That's just racist. No, it's. I mean, you know what? There is a line where <laughs> where some accents we have we have a clear line cut of accents that are okay. And some, and that, some are not. that are real bad. I, I feel like Canadian is on the okay side. You're allowed to do that one. Oh, you're so loud. You're yeah. Allowed to make fun of Canadians. I I I have a yeah, Canadian I, friend. I, I can say I, that. I have a Canadian. <laughs> um. I got the pass. I, I I have met a Canadian before. I think I can say it. Well, and who is that Canadian that you know? I I, I don't worry about it. It's a secret. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I, here's mine. Hold on. Let me get his Twitter up to prove we're friends. To prove we're friends. We are friends. Hold on. It's this guy, D. Kerdaya. One of my favorite tubers. He's great. Look at him. Look how handsome great. that beard is. He's a good guy. So he is a good guy, actually. Yeah. I'm following him on oh. Twitter, too. Most likely because of you. Yeah, because he's, he's handsome. Uh, we broke the yeah. hour mark. We did it. We killed time. <laughs> we wasted the time making yeah. fun of uh, go go Canada, eh? Go. Canada. Thanks for letting us make fun of your accent and not be called racist. Woo! We put that one in the bag. Very good ending, Aaron. Where are we? Oh, patrons. Thanks, JD from the Red Leaf Redcast. Thanks, Clip Easy Mill. Hell yeah, brother, sister, brother. Aaron, where are we? Where do you find us? You can find Kev on at Console Kev on like X and. Instagram. That's why CM Punk is so cool because he does he does X like this. And do you still post on TikTok? I think you still post on TikTok. Yeah, I, I, do. On there I actually I just edited some stuff today. All right, cool. Yeah, and TikTok, and then he streams relatively often. And I think he just had some uh, another job end, so he might be streaming a little more often for at least a week or two. I think Mon- Monday Jeff wanted to come by. First Jeff returned yeah. since he had a crotch goblin. So, so, so he'll be streaming a little more often, at least this week, and then we'll go from there. And then you can Literally follow me everywhere. on X, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Can we just start doing the punk thing for X because he's so cool? Wakanada forever, Kyle. Oh, damn. That dude totally still CM Punk's gimmick. I'm surprised that crying <laughs> about it. Um, and uh, uh, you can follow me on here. Um, maybe one day I'll stream. Maybe I won't. I don't know. He won't. I've been I've been dabbling with the idea. It's just finding the time now that I'm doing wrestling shit and like I've, I've been seen, I've seen this one before. Well, the issue again is most of my training is the days I'm free, and I've been actually like helping out with training, not just doing training. So I'm there more often. Um, but yeah, A R E N N O R M A N. Very good. Brother. You can Proud follow. Of both of us all the time and tell us how cool we are and like follow us in public and hide behind water fountains and shit like whatever you gotta do yeah Gross. i just gave an open invitation to stalk us bro what about, what dude, about dude, fo- follow me <laughs> at, uh, at, in real life That'd be great. In, at, in irl in this location i almost gave my, my address away from amazon who knows <laughs> yeah i mean exactly. shit dude all right we're out of here. Do the uh, do the nerd thing. Peace, nerds.